Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial. I've decided to change to StreamerBot. I have used Streamlabs Chatbot, I've used Nightbot, I have used Triggerfire for intros or video commands I want to be able to give my chatters to do. I have used Touch Portal to use for my channel point rewards and this can really do all of that and much, much more. The problem is this can do so much that as it came out, streamers were showing people how to do things in like 30 minute videos and they would touch on things or not really explain something all the way through or you'd have to scan through a 30 minute video to find something. And so that's where I found myself still trying to figure it all out. I'm going to assume if you are already at the point where you know you're going to use StreamerBot, you have you know, connected your Twitch account, bot account, if you're going to use one, you have connected your OBS. I wanted to find out how I'm going to set up an incoming raid. I could not find that information explained very clearly. I still had stuff to figure out, so I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to do that if it's something that you are wanting to do and can't find the information. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up OBS and you are going to want to make a scene called Raid. Now I already have my Raid set up here, so I made a scene called Raid 2 so I can make this along with the tutorial so you guys can see what to click, how to do the thing. So you will not have OBS or streamer bot that is in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yours will be completely empty. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, I have a video and it is going to play the uh, little guys from Among Us dancing. So I have to go find that media source. You want to add the media source. I will call it Am Dance because short enough. You don't want it to loop or anything, you're just gonna go find it. This is already where I put my videos on my computer and I will find HD Raid. And then as it comes on, that you have it on monitor and output if you'd like to hear it as well. Now, <clears throat> real quick, I am going to green screen this so we can work with it better. and that's going to be a lot easier to work with, you will want to turn it off. Whenever you set these sources inside of your scenes, the state they will live in for this to work and streamer bot to turn them on and off, they will live in off. So now that we have that media file vaguely ready to go, where it's going to set, the next thing you're going to want to do is add a text source, and I'm going to name this username2 because I already have one so this will be username two and I just type the word name in here uh, I do that so that way I can see where it needs to go obviously right here if I turn on my uh, dance you're gonna see that's where that's at so let's place this just roughly where a uh, streamers name would go as it comes in here and then the next thing we're gonna do is add a second text source and this is gonna be the viewer count that shows that they came in with so I'm gonna put viewer 2 because I already have one so and then I'm gonna put the word count now again that's just gonna show me kind of where this is going to set and how big it will be as compared to the video I have going on right here now these are going to live in off and I will just organize this down a little bit so now we have our media file we have where the streamer who's rating us that will be used to show their name and this will be used to show their viewer count now that we have these sources set up in our raid scene we are going to go over to streamer bot in streamer bot what we're going to want to do is go to actions i already have a raid action set right here but we will go and make a new one so i can make this with you guys so you'll go to add and you will make a raid i have to call mine raid 2 and I organize my stuff. You guys obviously do not have to, I do. So this will be your raid action. Now up here I have all of my actions set for what I am doing here, so let's go ahead and build it. The first thing that you are going to want to do is tell StreamerBot to get the streamer who raided you. You want to get their information. So you'll go to Twitch, you will go to User, and you will go to Get User Info for Target. You do not want the source to be on Broadcaster, that's you. You want it to get the user's info, which is them, and leave variable alone and just hit OK. Now the first thing it will do is get the info of the person who's rating you. Once it does that, which would be 
immediately, you want it to turn on whatever your special media is. If it's a song, if it's a video, if it's text, whatever it is. Mine is the Among Us Guys dancing video. So I'm going to go back over here, right click, I'm going to go to OBS, Sources, and what I want to do is I want to make my source visible. So I go to Set, Source, Visibility State. It's going to ask me, what do you want to set? So you go to your RAID. This is the one we're building, RAID 2. And I want to set my AM dance to visible. It's already hidden. You want to set it to visible. So there we go. Now, whenever I do this, my text on the screen comes up immediately. So on here, I have selected to have my video come up and then wait one and a half seconds and then the text to show the streamer and their viewers come in. So for me, I added a delay. What we want to do is go over here, go to core, go to delay. A thousand milliseconds is a second. I put a second and a half. If you don't want to use a delay, you do not have to. It will all come up at one time. I did want to, so there's my delay. Now what you want to do is you want to get these guys right here, your username and viewer, you want StreamerBot to see them. So you will right click, you will go to OBS, you're going to go to sources again, and you're going to go to set GDI text. So the first one I did is username. So we go to our raid scene, our source, we select the username, and the code you will want to put is percent sign target user percent sign and then finish your message. This is the code for it to fill in their name. So it is target user is rating us with, that'll be your first line. That's my first line. And then you'll want to do the same exact thing. Go to OBS, go to sources, set GDI text. Now you want to select, select a viewer and your code would be percent sign viewers percent sign and then just the word viewers a uh, couple exclamation points so even that's confusing putting viewers twice what you are saying here is it'll get the information and say hey blank is rating us with this many viewers and you can put whatever special message you want it doesn't have to say this many views for this many viewers thank you for the raid whatever you want to say but those codes the percent sign target user and percent side viewers have to be in there to get this information so now you'll want to go to obs sources once again you're going to want to go to source visibility state and you are going to want to tell it now that it's got that information let's turn on username too set it to visible and then you will do it all over again sources set source visibility state and you want to do the viewer make sure it's on visible so now we have it getting the information and turning on the sources with the text messages now the next thing my video was 17 seconds so i've already waited one and a half up here the rest of my video will be 15 and a half seconds long. So I want StreamerBot to basically chill for 15 and a half seconds because I don't want it to do anything. Just sit there and let it play. So delay. And then you will go back in and now you want it all to start going away because now your video is over. If your video is five seconds long and you had no delay up here, then this is going to be 5,000 milliseconds. So you want it to just wait around. This right here is however long your video is. Now you're going to start turning stuff off. So the first thing we want to do after that 15 and a half seconds is go to OBS source. And you can go down here every time if you want, if it makes you feel more uh, organized. Or we can go up here where we just did that and duplicate the action. Now we have two actions saying make username visible. On this one, just change it to hidden. Now we have this very same source state but changing it to hidden. We can do the same thing to the viewer, duplicate it, double click it, and just change it to hidden. Now I wanted it to wait a little bit. I wanted the text messages to leave. So I have this waiting for two and a half seconds and then it's going to shut off my video. So I will go into core, delay, two and a half seconds after the text leaves. Now I would like for OBS to go to the source of my video 
and please shut it off. And there we go. To make sure we go over everything, what we're telling streamer about to do is get the Raiders info. Then we want it to turn on your video. Delay. If you want to delay, it will delay. Then it, you are telling it to get their name and the viewer count. And then turn on the name and the viewer count messages. Delay for whatever the amount of length your video is. Then after that is over, you're telling it to turn off the username, turn off the viewer count messages, and then for me, I wanted it to delay two and a half seconds and then turn off the video. Now we have a raid, so we will go into platforms, and we will go into Twitch and events. For me, that's what it is. Click raid right here, and then I already have my actual raid selected, so here it will, it will say no action selected for you. You will click it. And then it's going to ask, what action do you want? Select your raid. Hit select. Now, if we go over to OBS, I'm just going to click this test right here. But I will show you in OBS. Here we go. And now let's see what happens whenever we hit test. So there you guys go. Now you can move this around wherever you want. I would just turn this all back on for a second. Let's pause that and then we will turn this on. You can mess with this all you want, you know. Um if you want to move this over here, you know, wherever you want it on the screen, however big you want it. Um you you do that. You can change the font in it, go in here, uh change it to whatever font you want it to be. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you do your thing there. That's all the creative side. But now we have it to where if somebody comes into your channel and raids you, you will have your special content, whatever it is. You will have a text saying their name is raiding us with and then a certain amount of viewers or whatever your special message is here. Now, in order to take that into wherever you're streaming, again, these need to live in off this is now a nested scene you have these three sources inside of this scene so my main streaming scene is switch we will switch to that real quick whenever i go to it what i do is i will take and add right click and add and i'll say add scene and when i say add scene i will go and select the raid scene and then that will be embedded like if I did that right now, that would be embedded inside of this. So now that would be embedded in here. You will keep that one on. Your nested scene will stay on. With that in here, anytime a raid would happen, that is now visible on your source. So anyways, I hope this has helped anybody. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will do my best to answer if I haven't explained anything clearly. Um, I'm going to try to put out some more videos on other things that I have found uh, difficult to try to learn or things that have been really cool I have found, but they weren't explained well. I still had to figure out on my own, and I will be putting detailed videos like that up on how to do some of these things. So if that interests anybody, please look for more videos on whatever you might want to learn how to do, and if there is anything that you can't find, on how to do comment below and I will see if I can look it up figure it out and make a video about it like I said if that's helped anybody I am glad that it did I certainly could have used a video like this on making a raid and um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one have a good one